gossip. <laughs> What's up, world? You're tuned into 423 FM. You already know we've got you covered with your daily dose of celebrity drama. Now let's get into it. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the 423. Amanda Seals got kicked out of an Emmys party last night, and she could not wait to tell the whole world about it. She posted a long-ass Instagram story about the whole ordeal, and I'm going to insert it here for your viewing pleasure. If you don't feel like sitting through a 14-minute Instagram story, which, by the way, should be illegal, then just fast forward on through, and I'll give you a quick summary afterward. For the record... I am being denied entrance to the Black People's Emmy party. And it's a white woman telling me I can't go in. Just, I just want to put this on record that I'm literally being told you cannot get entered entrance into a party that Jesse Williams invited me to that is the only Black event for the Emmy weekend. Because a white woman is telling me I can't get in. But I'm fine. This is just this is just to remind y'all that like it really doesn't matter like how hard you work or how good of a person you are like you just gonna be in some bullshit like the fact that like I literally was humiliated just now because four security guards were asked to come and remove me from a party that is supposed to honor black people at the Emmys and it was a white woman named Kiara who made it her business to do this is just <laughs> woo, I'm not gonna cry though I'm not gonna cry I'm honestly shaking I'm so disturbed but you know what I'll be on TV in seven hours and you know I'll find a way to put this in there <laughs> and here's Kiki Fuck everybody. And for the record, like this was a complete specific targeting of me. Like they had no problem letting Kiki in. We saw them letting mad other people in. But there was a very specific directive that was given to not let me in. So fuck your party. And fuck all y'all. And trust and believe. That woman, Kiara, was empowered by somebody else. So some hater bitch or some hater nigga put the battery in her back. That I know for a fact. So, you know, it's just that when we do that shit and we empower shit like that, it just really shows how powerless we really are to our ego and to pettiness. And I really just feel sorry for those folks. Because, of course, they really think they're doing something. And trust me. You're not. You're not. Because I still look bomb as shit, even though I was standing on the street corner. Amanda <laughs> <sighs> Seals, what do you not do? Can we get in on this braid, ladies and gentlemen? So in case y'all even care, this is what happened. I got to the Black Hollywood Emmy party last night with my homeboy Kendrick and my homegirl Kiki. And we were being escorted, we were being entered into the party when the woman at the door, a white woman named Kiara, was like, stop, she can't go in. No, she's not on the list. She can't go in. Now, Kiki was walking in and they weren't stopping Kiki um, and Kendrick was walking in but I was targeted out and was like she can't go in she's not on the list so Kendrick was like I don't even understand what what and the security guards were like yeah I don't know it's been like this all night just politics I don't know so I'm standing there just like so I 
stand there waiting and now I'm getting perturbed because there's just no reason like the shit is not popping like it's not like there's a crazy line outside like there there isn't people spilling out from the inside like there's just no a reason for like me to be standing out here and being like told like no you can't go in um so then i was like you know what i'm out so i go to the curb and then another homeboy of mine is like what what do you mean they won't let you in he's like we're gonna fix that so now like 15 minutes later he comes gets me brings me back and was like she should be able to go in and this same white woman kiara is like no she cannot go in she cannot go in and it was in that moment that i realized like oh this is like about me like this is not now in actuality i should have took my ass home when i walked up to a black hollywood party and a white woman was the gatekeeper because the optics of that let me know that whoever is in charge of this ain't really thinking on a bigger scale of things and i don't like parties enough to begin with to even put myself in situations like that but i was really hyped up because so many of my peoples were like come through come through come through people were in there people that were coming etc so i really was just like whatever let me just gung-ho um but nonetheless i was still outside my ass at the velvet rope because this woman kiara was just not having amanda seals enter the party then elijah kelly comes out and elijah kelly is like why are you out here <laughs> and i'm like I, because this woman will not let me in and he was like what just just come in just come in so i'm coming in and she's like no no and he was like just go just go and i just went and i was like yeah because I don't know why this woman is so set bent on me not entering this party. I go in the party and I literally just go and stand by the bar. Jay August comes over and is like, what's up, Amanda? And I was just like, you know what? I don't even know what's going on. But for some reason, I am not being allowed in this party. So when Kiki and I got in, she had went one way and I went the other way. And by the time she came back to the bar, she thought that just like I was talking to people in the party. No, a security guard was talking to me. Because the security guard was dispatched to come and remove me from the party. Yes. So I'm standing there like, I'm not leaving this party until you tell me who is saying that I need to leave the party. He's like, all right, I'm going to find out. So he's looking, he's like talking on his phone. And then he's like, Vanessa, Vanessa is saying that you need to leave the party. Vanessa of the AMPR group. And I'm like, really? That doesn't surprise me. So I'm standing there talking to him when Elijah Kelly comes up again and is like, what's going on? And I'm like, they're saying that I need to leave the party and I need to be escorted out by security. He's like, what? At that moment, the general manager of the event or of the venue comes up and is like, you need to leave. They need to escort you out. There's no discussion that needs to be had. I'm like, there is a discussion that needs to be had because there's no reason why. He's like, you're not on the list and you need to leave. You're not on the list. And I was like, fine, Vanessa. Fine, Vanessa. I would like to have a discussion with Vanessa because I need to understand what threat I pose to this party. There are several people who are in this party that are not on the list. Why am I being singled out? No, I don't need to discuss that with you. Two more security guards come up. And our good friend, Kiara, who comes up and says, no, I'm the one who says she needs to go. Kiara, I'm the one who says she needs to go. I'm the one. So I just want to reiterate for you one more time as I was saying at this point out loud. So let me just get this straight. I am being escorted out of a black Hollywood party. The only one that happens for the Emmys. I am being escorted out because this white woman here says that I can't be in here. I just want to get that clear. And y'all saw me say that in real time on my Instagram. And they were like, yes. Y'all, it was about to be World Star Night. It was about to be. I'm not going to lie to you. Because I really am not here for being touched especially by men who are trying to exert authority for no fucking reason and expecting me to submit word of the week to their authority that they are exerting what i for what i know to be a falsified reason and also just an exertion of authority like that's the thing like you know a lot of times people want to exert authority but they want to do it at such an extreme level for no reason i'm not fighting i'm not loud i'm not belligerent i'm simply saying i would like an explanation and they're saying no you don't deserve an explanation so 
Now I've got four security guards telling me that I need to get off the premises immediately. And thankfully, the first security guard, though, he's the one who stopped it from being a world star night. Because he was like, Miss, we don't got to do this. We don't got to do this, Miss. We don't got to do this. We don't got to do this, Miss. We don't got to do this. We don't got to do this, Miss. Kiki is in the general manager's ear like, are you fucking kidding me that this is happening right now? Like, are you really serious this is happening? Are you absolutely serious that this is happening? And he's like, I mean, we're, this is how it has to go down. This is how it has to happen. So I then leave the party. So just, just for the record, Amanda Seals, I'm speaking in the third person, I was escorted by four security guards out of the Black Hollywood Emmy party last night for simply wanting to get into the Black Hollywood Emmy party last night. Let's just, let's just, let's just. Now, of course, because I am the type of person I am, there was apparently all types of bullshit ass stories that were run up the line and down the line and people do that for their own you know egos and to make themselves feel like shit makes sense when it absolutely doesn't make sense because the bottom line is it was clearly that i was being targeted for specifically being amanda seals i saw hella people come into that fucking party last night that were not on the list i literally with kiki was there when they put they typed her name and put it on the list but didn't want to do that for me and i just feel like In the grand scheme of things, none of this shit fucking matters. But in the last five hours of my life, it did matter. Because now I'm up three hours later to host The Real. And I got to remember, all the motherfuckers that saw these security guards talking to me and pressing me and being extra to me and didn't do shit. I remember all of you. I also remember the fact that there was people at that party who knew that I was outside and that was being treated that way and didn't do shit. And three, I also know that when it comes down to it, I really will never be a Hollywood broad. Like it just, in that moment, I was just like, you a hip hop nigga for life. And that's really the facts. And these people really don't know that, but they will come to find out. But I'm fine. But you know what though, I, I, you know, in this lifetime, I'm only destined for good things. Like I don't know whatever's gonna happen in another one, but in this one, like there's always an angel that descends upon me to make sure that I'm straight. And so even though like these ridiculous people, I feel like we're definitely trying to antagonize me so I could trip out so they could be like, oh, Amanda's the crazy bitch. I'm not. Um, people always think you're crazy when you're smarter than them. So as you just heard, Amanda Seals was invited to a black Emmys party on Sunday night following the award show and ended up getting kicked out immediately. She was invited by Jesse Williams, but once she got to the door, she was informed that she wasn't on the list. After doing some digging and trying to sneak back into the party after already getting kicked out, she found out that the person who didn't want her in the event was a woman named Vanessa who owns AMPR Group. She says multiple times that she was specifically targeted because she's Amanda Seals, and then keeps getting into the fact that a white woman kicked her out of a black Emmys party even though she contradicts herself over and over again by reiterating that they just didn't want her in there. All of the other black people who were invited to the party got in, so this clearly wasn't a race thing. And even though the woman, Kiara, at the door may have been white, she was just doing what was asked of her, and she ended up fighting out the exact person who didn't want her in, and it wasn't her. Now, what's most interesting to me about this story isn't Amanda getting kicked out because if I was having a party, I sure wouldn't invite her either, but that Vanessa, the woman who insisted to not let her in, works very closely with Issa Rae. Back in 2018, Issa highlighted Vanessa's work and said she runs all communications and publicity for Issa Rae Productions. So essentially, Issa Rae's camp kicked out Amanda Seals. Which raises the question, is there some beef between Issa and Amanda? Amanda said in her video once she found out Vanessa's the one who kicked her out that she wasn't surprised, so it seems like there's some long-standing beef here. Obviously, whatever's going on between Amanda and Vanessa could just be between them, but if Issa and Amanda were friends, I'm sure she wouldn't let her do Amanda like that and have her kicked out, so it seems like there were some bridges burned there one way or another. Obviously, Amanda is still on Insecure, but that doesn't necessarily mean that her and Issa are anything more than co-workers at this point. It is worth pointing out that on Issa's newer project, A Black Lady Sketch Show, Amanda Seals is noticeably absent, even though that would be up her alley. 
So I'm willing to bet that these two aren't the best of friends, and I wouldn't be surprised if Amanda's character on Insecure gets written off the show in the next season one way or another. The last picture Issa posted on Instagram was with all the girls from Insecure, including Amanda, so they're cordial at least, but it seems like something is up. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that Issa Rae has anything to do with Amanda Seals being kicked out of the Emmys party? And if so, what could have happened between them? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, subscribe to the 423 for more videos, and if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye!